Hi, today I'm gonna show you the pitch correction tool in Logic Pro X. This is a great tool to edit your vocal tracks or your uh, monophonic instrument uh, recordings. It allows you to uh, correct the pitch, but also it allows you to change the phrasing, it allows you to change the gain um, of particular notes, so it's a, it is a very, very powerful tool. Uh, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to double click here and open the track um, of a uh, vocal track that I have. It is a background vocal track. And um, if I play it back now. I have this phrase that I might want to, to uh, pitch correct. And so um, first thing I'm going to do is to make sure that in... Um, in my, I'm going to turn on my flex tool right here. So show hide flex uh, tool, and um, I'm going to turn it on. And now uh, Logic has just analyzed my track. And then I'm going to choose the type of flex tool I want to, I want to, um, I want to use. In this case, I'm going to select flex pitch. In flex pitch mode, uh, Logic analyzes the pitch and the phrasing of the track. And now it's showing a piano roll view where I can see my notes as pitches in relationship to a MIDI keyboard. And as you can see, some of the pitches are, are, are right on, some are not. In addition, it's going to show me also the vibrato of each note. The next thing I want to do to quickly correct the pitches or, or fine-tune the pitches is to select the notes that I want to correct. I can also press Command A and select all the notes of this region. The next thing I want to do after selecting the pitches I want to edit is to go into the View menu and select Show Local Inspector. This one gives me some option in terms of what I can do on the selected notes. Uh, it's a quick fix. I can just select the notes that I want to um, pitch correct and then select the uh, scale on which I want to uh, quantize the notes. So in this case, I'm going to choose the G major scale. And this gives me the amount of correction that I'm going to apply to the notes. So this is like a perfect match for the, for the closest pitch. Uh, for each note, or I can get something uh, a little bit more um, human if I want and less mechanical. So I'm going to choose a fairly strong uh, correction. I can also change the gain of the selected pitches. And now let's hear it back. Ta So the notes now are right on. For each note, I can also um, change a few parameters. For example, when I bring my cursor over uh, a note, I can see six different handles, and each handle does a different thing. So the top left one allows me to change the pitch drift, which means I can do a, 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 a scoop in for the note. So if I do something like this, I would almost do like a... See, I can do a, a scoop in. Or, um, same thing, it can be done for the end of the note. Also, I can change the fine pitch by using the handle located in the middle, middle of the note. So I can do some micro adjustment. If I look at the lower handles, uh, the one on the lower left changes the gain of that note. So I can make it louder or softer. Um, this one changes the format, so I can change the, 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 the characteristic of the of the note or the vocal track and this one allows me to um, increase or decrease the vibrato so if i um, 
click and bring it down, I have less vibrato. If I bring it up, I have more vibrato. So if I want to just reduce the vibrato a little bit, <clears throat> is what I can do. And this can also be done for all the selected notes uh, at once. So if I select more than one note, this gets applied to all the notes that are selected. The other great advantage of using this tool is that I can actually change the notes. So for example, if I say, well, I, you know, I didn't like this D, uh, maybe it sounded better as a, as an F sharp, and I'm gonna change this too, going to a D and then an E. Sorry. Select both notes. I can do that. So I can really reshape the part. This is a great tool useful for any uh, vocal tracks, as I said, or even a uh, monophonic instrumental track. Thank you for listening.